Hello watchers. This morning, the 2nd of October, I have got a scroller box for my mail. So let's get this thing open. I love getting the scroller boxes because with it being a UK subscription brand, there's no chance for any other people's videos um, to sort of tell me what's in the box. So I have completely no idea what's in the box and scroller don't give anything away. So. Yay! Ooh! Thank you, patterns! Okay, so we'll look at that in a second. Pos Posca. Mmm. I think we may have some Posca markers in here. Uh, ah, that's quite cool. I like the new take on a unicorn. Because normally they're cute and fluffy. So this print is by uh, SP0. Um, is an illustrator and street artist based in Bristol. So if you want to check out his um, Instagram and things, right there. So, ooh, a f perfect for Posca. Finally, they've made some paper that's perfect for Poscas because it always piles and it goes horrible. So hopefully this won't be the case. Um, so A5 marker sketch pad, acid free, 250 GSM, 10 sheets by Art Gecko, which I've never heard of. Um, scroller box featuring, oh, so this is really a very, so I'm guessing that's another one of his um, artworks. I like his colours of the teal and the purple. So, ooh. Oh. This is thick paper, but... And it's, it's super, I would say this is even smoother than Bristol board. But it doesn't feel like the Molotov um, paper that they've released. Um, let me just grab. So this is the Molotov, uh, Mol I keep calling it Molotov and it's Molotov. I don't know why I think it's Russian, but it's not, it's German. Um, they have their own paper for theirs, but as, I don't know if you can tell, um, the Molotow is like, got like a shite's um, sheen on it. And it's also not quite as white as this stuff. Um, and it's also thicker than this stuff. So it is completely different paper because that paper works beautifully with the Molotov. So I'll leave a link in the uh, in the cards above for the video I did on that because they glide, the the Molotovs glide beautifully on there. It's like drawing on plastic. It's fantastic. Um, but yeah, let's move on to the other stuff before I get completely distracted. Oi. So we've got our sticker with the wonderful colours he likes to use, or she, I don't know. Um, our menu, and then we've got one, two, three, four. I lost count then. <laughs> Five plus, is, I got distracted with the different sizes, that's why. Okay, so we've got the three Poscas that I think this chap's used, and um, that's yeah, so it's on the front of the book. Um, and they are the sizes of P11. No, no, no. They're the color, the, they're the color code, sorry. Um, <clears throat> the sizes are PC5M, bullet shaped, for three of them, for the colors. And then the black are the PC3M bullet shapes. So these are slightly finer than the colors um, in black and white. Um, I won't need to open the white one because I've got so many white postcards, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. I think I've even got these sizes as well. But I don't have, a, oddly enough, I don't have a black Posca, so. And I probably don't have those colors as well. Um, then we have got a pencil which is a Stiedler um, Mars Limograph Black in 2B. Or oh, not 2B, I do it every time, I know, I know. And then we've got a Fibercastell Eco Pig 
mint in 0 0.6 and I think I know I thought it was gonna be good oh no it is gray it is gray <laughs> it looked black for a second when it first came out it doesn't actually say a color on here it just says it's um pigmented ink waterproof maximum light fat fastness in acid free uh, it's still horizontally and made in Germany um, and then we've got a drumstick lolly. I love drumsticks, rhubarb and custard flavour. Me likes those. Okay, so let's just get rid of the tissue paper. <clears throat> so this is quite a fun, colourful box. I was expecting it to be full of ink goodiness, because obviously Inktober, but... No. Oh, the thing... Bled. It's okay, I'm using that as a thing. So yeah. Um, da, 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 um, three Poscas, uh, three coloured Poscas, two, two black and white, um, five Castell thingy, um, Gecko Freestyle. Right, more about this paper. This ge Gecko Freestyle sketchbook made especially for this box, nice, contains unique hybrid paper combining bleed proof marker paper and Bristol board. Ah! Uh, okay, bristle board. Um, the perfect blend for marker pens endorsed by Posca for use with Posca paint markers. So, I'm guessing there'll be sketchbooks and single sheets of paper and things on the way, if not already. And the scroller challenge is character crea creation. So, yeah. Um, I'm not going to swatch these things out because we all know what Poscas do. Or oh, maybe I am. Yeah, okay. I am. I, I, I'm too curious to see what these colours are. Um, so, character creation. Hmm. I mean, the only characters I'm thinking of are the characters that I'm doing for animation. Slight spoiler alert there. Um, so I could probably do a variation of one of them because these are not the colours that they come in. So I could sort of make a special colour out of them. Oh, I didn't mean to open the white. Oh well. Oh well, it's open now. We throwing the postures around like it's nobody's business. You can do it when you pass get it. Oh, 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 do we have color? Look at that color. Beautiful lavender. I mean, with the paper, it's going on super duper smooth, smoother than any other paper that I've used with pastas. However, you can't go over a patch you've just done because it is starting to pile. And I'll show you a close up in a second. Let's just see if it does the same with... But I don't know if you, the camera can pick it up. When you go over the colour again, it is getting that weird little thread there. Not threadbare, but like the little raised bumps. But if you're just doing single applications, perfect. It's my, like if you look at the text, it's super duper smooth. Not a problem at all. But it's just when, where I've gone over it with a second layer, but perhaps when you leave it to dry a while and then put another coat on, it'll probably react better that way. Um, and let's just have a little, oh no, it, it, I can't make up my mind. Is this black or is this grey? <laughs> curious and curious. I think it is black. 
because I've got another eco pigment that's green barreled and it's green <laughs> so yeah um, let's just go over the lavender see if I mean let's see if I can zoom in here just a little let me try and focus on that bit yeah it's when you go over it again um it's getting the texture and also it's scratching the under layer off so not great for layering up but um so you can't use these like how i would use gouache which is if i've laid down a color and then i'll put another layer on and it doesn't move or anything but with poscas it's a one layer only type of thing but that's okay it's just a learning curve so yeah hmm. character what was it character creation so hmm. what is a girl to do hmm. okay so Dum Dum Me hasn't even looked at the zine. Um, I just got way too excited <laughs> with an idea I had. So first page is explaining a little bit more um, about the items. Um, and then we've got a little interview with the SP0 artist. Wow, look how detailed this guy goes. Love this stuff. Um, then we've got tips with Poscas, and then a gallery from July's box um, with the liquid pencil. Um, oh wow! I love this. This is a nice layout. And then we've got some scroller extras, so looks like it's going to street art. Ooh, and let us know what you want to see in your next box. Gouache, 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 but good quality gouache, acrylic gouache. That's that's what I want to see in the next box. Gouache, 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 gouache. Getting slightly obsessed with gouache and printmaking now, but I. The scroller boxes are very small, so I don't know how printmaking would work. But definitely gouache, acrylic gouache, and good quality. Not Dowler and Rowley, not even Windsor and Newton, even though they're okay. But mm, try and go a little bit more premium with the gouaches, because I find that with gouache, if you're given um, gouache that's not so good, it really does put you off gouache. That's what my experience has been. But the second I got some really good premium um, gouache, uh, I was hesitant to use it at first, but once I started using it, I was like, where the hell has this been <laughs> all my life? You know, so I, I really, really would advocate for premium um, quality gouache. So definitely, please, a gouache box, please, I beg of you. Um, but yeah, that's the, uh, that's the zine. Um, I did the samples. Oh. Um, yeah, I need to take a sheet out. Um, I've worked an idea in Procreate because that's how I like to sketch my ideas now because it's just quicker and I can mess around with the composition and I've drawn uh, traced over it and come up with this wiggly little drawing is it in focusing all the cameras yes because the scroller challenge for this month is character creation and I'm currently working out some videos um, animation videos to help tell the story and represent some of my architectural design works um, and I've come up with a couple of characters and I'm actually working with an an animator Devon Short from Wacky Doodle Devon 
Um, I will link her channel and all her socials down below um, for you to go and check her out because she does some really cool um, animations and illustrations. Um, so I'm working with her to produce these animation videos um, and we've already come up with the two characters um, that we're going to be using and you're going to technically get a sneak peek of one today because I decided to redraw um, one of the characters but obviously I'm using a completely different colour palette to what the character will be in the finished product um, but if you remember another scroll of video that I did um, with the charcoal and chalk you'll know I talked about Archie Fox and how I was trying to de develop, in, develop him then. Um, this is now another stage of him, more towards the final image, but obviously the colour is different. Um, but he's now also had a name change and he now will be called Archie, um, as opposed to Archie Fox. So yeah, I'm really excited for all of that and that's why I got really giddy with like the idea of this because I've not drawn him like on paper it's always been digital at the moment so it'll be nice to use these supplies try and use these wonderful colors and create something so yeah i'll stop rambling now and i will get on with actually doing it <laughs> okay so i think i am going to go in with my colors first um, I think I'm going to use it straight from the pin. Um, one thing that I am going to do is mix, hopefully, some colours up by just putting some buskers on a palette. So I just want to create some depth um, with these and some shadows from tone that might have been too much black. Different brush. Hopefully, it's just going to be a little bit darker. This is actually a paintbrush I got in a previous um, scroller box. I'm not liking the way this is looking. This is an alumin aluminium palette that I'm using. Um, that's better. Um, I'm hoping that they're a bit easier to clean than the plastic ones. I keep trying to get hold of a, um, a ceramic one, but every time I go to order one, they're out of stock. So I don't know what's going on there. with the contour background I'm going to leave it as pencil um, 
I feel like I need to explain Archie a little bit. Um, I wanted to create some characters um, that are made up of the actual tools that architects use. Um, traditional tools, that is. Um, and as you can see, his tail is a French curve. And also his underbelly is also a French curve and around his eye is um, the French curves that architects typically use. And if you don't know what French curve is, I've got loads of the buggers. <laughs> these things that to help um, draw curves and circles and a whole bunch of other lines that architects need to sort of use for sections and plans and all sorts of things so we made him up of those and we've also given him a compass as a leg so we've sort of given him a traditional compass leg um, the pointed end, or um, not the pencil end. I thought it sort of gave him a little bit of an edge as a character, as opposed to being cute and fluffy. Although the color palette today is not helping with the cute and fluffy thing. <laughs> but I actually, I actually really like the color palette. But I don't know. We might do some um, funky cartoon episode where. He ends up being the, the, those colours for some reason. Ooh. Actually. Okay, no, no. Stop getting crazy with ideas. Um, so, yeah. You need to do some nice black outlining like this chap has done. I'm scared to just go straight in with this because it's quite thick. Where's the... Unless I've, I need to be good and go in very light handedly. All right, so outlining, here we go, I'm scared. <laughs> um, okay, let's just go in and get it done. Quite happy with that actually. Um, what tools haven't I used? I've used all those and that and the pencil, and I've used that for that. Um, they didn't come with the box. Um, could I add some finer details? But yeah, I'm actually quite pleased with the way this has turned out. But I'm definitely, definitely going to leave the contour lines um, as pencil because I don't want to overpower the beauty that is Archie. Um, but yeah, I'm really pleased with the way that's turned out. I love this box. This is a fun box. The colour selection is spot on. And I know a lot of people complain that... Um, what the artists use is slightly different to the materials that they get but I think this one's pretty much spot on I can't where's the pad of paper gone um, you can see here that you know it's pretty much spot on exactly what is used and I love this magic paper made with care in Great Britain um, so Art Gecko is the brand that do these so if you want bigger sheets or more of this paper I'm guessing that's where you're going to be able to get it all from um, but I love this paper I mean it spreads out the Posca really nice so you get a nice solid color um, that's annoying me 
Bear with me one second now. This is where I mess it up. No, damn. No, damn. No, damn. I succeeded. I think. <laughs> um, now I'll leave it alone. Um, but yeah. Um, this is a great, fantastic little box. Um, Archie, as you can tell, is coming early in 2021. Um, he's going to break onto my YouTube channel with a friend of his and also um, in an anim animation video that I'm currently working on the backgrounds for. So hopefully that will all be good to go at the beginning of the year. Um, but in terms of scroller, this is a fantastic box and I've probably said that about 10 times already. But yeah, um, if you like this video and you want to see more, please like and subscribe. Um, please share with my video um, with anyone else that you think might be interested in what I'm doing. That would be greatly appreciated. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and in the meantime, happy architecting.